What's up? It's your girl Nemo. Welcome back to another video or welcome me if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing rainbow hair for the first time in over a year. Super excited. It's going to be pastel rainbow today. I do intend on doing a more neon rainbow later on, but that will be at another point in time coming up in the next few months. <laughs> But for now, I'm just going to do a pastel look. As you can tell, my hair is pretty much white. I've let this fade a lot. I've been washing with hot water and dander shampoo like every other day. And we've got it looking pretty good. There's a little blonde poking through now, more towards the roots. And especially in the back, it looks the worst. <laughs> let me show you what I mean. You see, I, I can't see right now, but there's a banding between my roots and my color, and it's just not attractive. I don't know why the hair is darker back there. I always put my bleach on back there first, so you would think that it should be the lightest of all my hair, but my front is really the section that takes the best, typically. I still have a little purple towards my roots as well. That tends to hang on to color more. But for the most part, I'm pretty white, but I am going to go ahead and do a very mild bleach bath. I feel comfortable doing that because my hair is super healthy. I've been taking really good care of it. Besides using hot water, um, that's not really the best for your hair, but I've been using almost no heat products. I've been using keratin and protein treatments, damage repairing shampoos and conditioners, Olaplex. So my hair is in pretty good shape. I think you can take it. And when I say a mild bleach bath, I do mean pretty mild. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to be using Ten Volume Developer with the L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach Powder. And I'm gonna be using like, like half powder and then half uh, developer in this little cupful. And then diluting with equal parts of dish soap and dandruff shampoo, so. That's the plan. After that, my hair should be good to go for a pastel look. The only thing I'm a little worried about is that banding in the back. This might lighten it just a little bit, so I'm gonna apply it in the back first, but um, I don't have high hopes. Luckily, as long as like, if I'm not like running my fingers through it, it's not that obvious. So I think it'll be fine. Like I will be the only one that knows it looks weird back there, but I will show how it comes out. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this bleach bath, gonna mix it up and then put it on. I'm gonna leave it on for maybe five minutes tops and washing it out with shampoo. I'll show you how it looks after the bleach bath and then we will move on to the pastels and I'll show you everything I'm using at that point in time. Okay, let's ignore the way my hair is looking right now. <laughs> I blow dried it forward to make it easier to deal with the hair and go from the bottom to the top. Um, I actually haven't even looked at the back since I dried it. Let me see. Yeah, still looking pretty bad back here. <laughs> but I'm not going to bleach or anything. I'm just going to deal with it and hope it comes out all right. The front and all this looks fine. Like... It's just the back that's a problem. Sorry. <laughs> it's getting a letters too. We've got a emo moment going on here. But I mixed up all the colors that I'm using and I'll show you what I did. For pink, I'm using Strawberry Leopard Made You Blush and Arctic Box Rosé. Um, pretty much an equal mixture of these two. For orange, I'm using Straight Up Good Dye Young Peach. I did not mix this with anything. I think it's going to look just perfect for this look I'm doing. For yellow, I'm using Ex Mondo Super Yellow, diluted with some cheap conditioner. I pretty much cut it in half, just to, just to give it a more pastelized look so it's not brighter than the other colors. 
For green, I've used Strawberry Leopard Mitsu B and Arctic Fox Neverland. I would say I use two thirds Neverland and one third Strawberry Leopard Mitsu B. For blue, I used mostly Arctic Fox Periwinkle with a few good squirts of Strawberry Leopard Prismatic Purple, which is not really purple, it's like a Periwinkle blue, so. Um, but it is darker than this actually, so I didn't put too much in. And then once I did have it mixed up, I diluted it with some conditioner because it looked too dark for a pastel look. So yeah. Then for purple, I did an even mixture of Eero Eero Pastel Lavender and Arctic Fox Girls Night. So here's what they look like swatched. I'm excited. I'm going to get some gloves on and get started. Okay, it's all on and I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour and rinse it out in cold water and be right back to show you the results. I think it's gonna come out awesome. <laughs> I have pretty high hopes for this. I'll be right back to show you how this comes out. Here it is and I could not be happier with the results. It's better than I expected to be honest. The only thing I wish I would have done different is I brought this orange a little too far up. You can see it kind of poking through the blue, but the rest is solid. Let me show you the back. No dinginess from that banding, so. But yeah, that about does it. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it's a free way to support my channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, God bless.